Hello everyone, my name is Don, and today, I almost forgot, um, I'm playing Slender the Arrival, but not just a normal Slender the Arrival, no, no, no. Hardcore difficulty. I have never played it on hardcore difficulty before, and I thought, you know what? Let's do it. Let's get into this. So I'm going to try finding all the pages because I've never actually found all the pages before. Um, so let's get into this. Now I, I uh, figured out that a lot of the names that are pop that, that pop up on screen are actually also uh, creators from other Slenderman games. That, those three are from uh, Marble Hornets, but the, the other ones, like Thomas, the one I can't pronounce, that one actually made a Slenderman game and I forgot the name of it. Anyways, let's get into this. Oh, I almost forgot. Almost forgot, we gotta make this almost barely visible. All right, so this is the first note. Hey Kate, it's been a while since we last spoke, ha hasn't it? Hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter is a little old fashioned, but sometimes I just like to sit down and write something out, you know? I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on our adventures? Go something we called it, we'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant, I can't speak, insignificant noise. Our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could rewind back to then. Seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. I'm not gonna read the rest of that. Next note. Thank you, I can't thank you enough for coming out all this way to help me. I, it's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. <clears throat> so I have a feeling that note was supposed to come to me, Lauren. And I'm supposed to help Kate out, and that's why I came to the house, to help sell the house. Honoring the life of Beth Hayes, October 18, 2009. Come on, there it is. Flashlight, batteries, extra capes, lighter, kerosene, lock the house. Oh, there's where the flashlight is. Okay, well, I don't want to turn it on yet, because I do know it can, uh, it can run out. New messages. One old message. Is there anything out here? No, I don't think so. Second note. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well too. But yeah, about what well, about all we said, I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really be a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. CR. Okay. Alright, well, we need to find the key. Picked up a key. It's lost, man. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, so we're not actually going to touch any of this. We're going to touch this note back here. Kate. I want to see you again. I can't stop thinking about you, Kate. About us. I'm sorry for what happened in the park. Maybe I shouldn't have said those things, but... I know you may not feel the same way, but I don't want to let you go. I hope someday you'll change your mind. I'll be here waiting for you. Please, just think about it some more. I have so many things I want to show you. So many things I want to share with you. I want to protect you. I hope we can at least still be friends. Yours truly, Carl Ross. So we get a name. Okay, so I, oh wait, I don't even have to pick up this note. I don't have to, but I will. Sweet. All right, so right here is the third note. Hey Kate, both my computer and phone have been acting weird lately, so I figured I'd do it the old fashioned way again. Glad we can meet up to talk things through. I agree with what the doctor said too. There's an explanation for all this stuff. The shared traumatic events sound the most logical to me. That night out there in the woods is probably what caused it. I had almost completely blocked that out, but now it's kind of coming back to me. Well, like I said before, it's still really foggy. I think the best course of action right now is to just ignore it whenever you think you might be seeing things again. I'll try to do the same. That'll probably do the trick. CR. P.S. You should call Lauren sometime. I bet some company would help out. No. No, I don't think so. But oh well. Alright. 
So I'm I'm still trying to find at, at least all the notes that I can. Oh, there's the broken glass from up there. Uh, all right. I should keep an eye out. Missing. Have you seen this child? Charlie Matheson Jr. If you have seen this child, please contact fake number. I think I've gotten all the notes I can out of the house, but I may be wrong, though I think I did. There's nothing in the garage, so... I swear I've seen him. It's really hard to see the light. So dark. Those lights do not help at all. They are, this is a really atmospheric game and the lights are toned down a lot. All right, so there's a note here, right here. I'm not gonna read that again. Just know that some guy died. Lol. Hi, buddy. So we need to enter that house real quick. Um, yeah, let's get into this house. Oh, it's dark, and I don't like the noises that happen either. This is scary. Wait, what? I'm going to my flashlight. What happened to the flashlight? Hold on. Okay, well, I feel like that's bullshit because I can't see anything because my flashlight's dead. All right. What's wrong with this place? Why did this happen to us? No answers anywhere I look. Am I crazy? Okay. Well. Ah! <sighs> All right, here's the next scrapbook item. Please tell me that's all the items in this place. I can't handle being in that house again. All right, time to turn down the brightness again. All right, so here's the next note. Um, yeah, so here's just a picture of construction being taken on houses. And then it's just talking about um, oh my god, I've never collected that note ever. Okay. All right. So this is hardcore, so I don't know how hard the Slender the Eight Pages part is going to be. My flashlight is dead, and I don't know how long that's going to continue on for. But, uh, so apparently we have a limited amount of flashlight battery in each zone. I'm going to guess each zone. Which sucks. Which sucks. Here's... I'm not reading this again. You can watch my YouTube video. I actually did a YouTube video on, on this game, but on normal difficulty, and it was for fun. This one, this one's not fun. Okay, so there's only like, there's only three here. And they're at this right here. So this and the giant ass sign. Stop whispering in my goddamn ear. I'm just here for the collectibles. Here's this, and then this. Your standard stuff. Alright, we're in. Alright, so first note is over here. Now this part's gonna fucking rock my ass, because this is gonna suck ass. Please just let the pages be easy to find. Oh, okay. Please don't jump scare me. I wouldn't like that very much. Give me the note. Give me the note. Okay. Okay. You're fine. We're fine. We're fine. <sighs> Five pages.
Where's the sauce man? Look, sauce man, I don't like you very much, okay? Don't like you. Did he teleport or no? I can't even tell where I'm going. I'm not turning around. Definitely fine. Yep, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. There's nothing wrong happening at all. I am a okay. Let's see the next page. Six of eight. Look, I hear you, man. I don't care. I'm gonna beat this. Where is he? Where? I don't I don't see him. I don't act I actually don't see him. What what was that bullshit? Okay, I was not anywhere near him. I was going away from him. That was bullshit. Fuck that. Now I gotta do this stone again. Please. Look, just take me, man. Just take me. I need to restart anyway. That sucked ass. God damn it. <sighs> Look, I'm already going insane. I don't need someone confirming that I'm going crazy. It always starts out like this, right? It always starts out where I am able to just get like three or four notes and then maybe a fifth or a, even a sixth note and then I just die. I'll give this like two more shots and, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably cry into a fucking pillow. I've never had this much trouble beating this part. Actually, no, that's a lie. I've had lots of trouble trying to beat this part before. expected of hardcore, but I guess this is what it was. Four. Okay, four pages. Let's keep going. I'm going to this car, I'm grabbing this note, and I'm gonna do it whether you like it or not, okay? I just need to win, man. I just need to win something.
Uh, oh my god. You know, I beat the game in like 30, 30 or 40 minutes last time I played. Maybe even 50. Oh, there's another page. Shit, there's another page. I don't know who you are, mysterious person who needs help, but I also need help, so... a car up here and if not there's the toilet oh or the tent please tell me there's no please tell me there's no on the other side then okay I need one more page porta potty please have the page please have the page no I did it I did it. I fucking did it. Yes! Okay! I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, I'm so happy I did it. Okay. Oh. Yes. Oh. Well, this is number five, so I would probably want to read these in order. I have never actually read in, um, number four. But all right, so before entering to the very left of the place, there should be a note called num number four. And it's stuck to a tree somewhere. And this place is full of fucking trees, so I don't know what to do. I found it. I found it. Okay, okay, okay. Note number four. Alright. Yeah, it hasn't been working out for me either. It's one, it's one thing to ignore something you know is just a hallucination. It's something entirely else entirely to ignore all the noises I hear outside my window at night now because I can't see whatever it is that's making them. Anything like that happening around there with you? It sometimes sound like, sounds like whispers. Your friend, CR. Okay. All right. <gasps> I mentioned it to my doctor again when I saw him today. He really wants you to come in sometime just to talk with him. I think it's a good idea. He also said that confronting this traumatic event in some way could be very beneficial too. Don't worry, I didn't tell him any specifics about what happened. I do think we should go back out to that park behind your mom's house sometime soon. I think being out there and seeing nothing will help get rid of these stupid problems we've both been having. CR. All right. So we haven't seen any replies from Kate. Uh, it's all just been CR sending these um, notes and everything. We haven't heard from Kate. At all, actually. All right, number six. I tried to find my way back up when I, to you when I tripped and fell down that slope and my flashlight hit one of the rocks down there and broke. It was pitch black. I heard sounds all around me screaming. It sounded like you. I tried to follow it back, but I was lost. I fell. Everything collapsed down around me. I fell. I could feel it crushing me. Everything was moving so fast. I was drowning in water. I couldn't see. Every fear I've ever had came back to me at once. Monsters surrounded me. My stomach inverted. My eyes shriveled out of existence. My 
and my heart caved in. I don't know what happened after that. I woke up in some tall grass today and found my way back to the house. I looked through the window and saw you sitting on the couch, staring at your TV. I couldn't get your attention, so I left. I can't write anymore. I need- I can't think straight. I need to... Alright. Attention all employees. After the, the closing this Sunday, your paychecks will be mailed to your home address that we have on file for you. Please see Jessica in the office if you have any changes, uh, if you have changed your address recently. Otherwise, you will not be able to receive your final paycheck. We would like to thank you all for your many years of dedicated service to Coleman Mining and wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Management. All right. I would have totally missed that if I didn't check the guide. There is one here. At least it said it was somewhere here. I think. It's over here. Next to these pipes. Over on this side, I'm thinking? Yeah, right here. Okay. I see people everywhere who remind me of the man. I could have... I could have become. They understand the rules so well. It's like the rules of the great game of life were never taught to me. Everything I ever worked towards is gone. Everything I loved has been taken away from me. I'm an empty shell of a man, living in this world of constant noise. Failure after failure, no one left to love. No one left to love me back. This world is nothing but noise now, and I can't understand any of it. I see everyone else wading through the noise like they are a part of it, familiar with it, while I struggle and drown as some unwanted outsider. None of it makes sense, and I am alone in all in it all. No more job, no more family. I can never rebuild it all. I'm a hopeless excuse for a man. I need to get out. Imagine being trapped in a game where you don't understand the rules, clumsily trying to understand how to make it through. But you can't. You can't progress. I thought I knew the rules, but it was a lie. You see everyone else whizzing by like it's so easy, and no one tells me. No one cares about my game. I'm alone in this forsaken nightmare because I don't belong in it. I need to log off. I need to get out of it. I need to rest. I need to tranquility. I need to feel like I belong somewhere. I'm not sorry for this because I don't owe this damn world anything. And I can never forgive life. So goodbye, and good luck with your own game. Charles M. So that's Charles Matheson. I've never picked that note up before, so that, that was actually really cool to find. So I can still sort of see silhouettes and everything before getting to where I need to get to, and now I need to turn on the light. This zone is going to suck so bad. Okay. Warning! Coleman Mining, in the event of sudden power loss, all employees must re be removed from the mines via emergency lifts as soon as possible. To power the lifts, please activate the emergency generators through the ground level of the complex. Six generators are the minimum requirement to power the lift at full capacity. Please see your supervisor if you need help locating them. Alright. Oh, there's an eight here. Number seven. I am okay, Kate. The woods are beautiful. Please come see. I'm going to find you so you can see it. It's so beautiful, Kate. Okay, I've never found that note either, but it's okay. All right, and here we go. Local park sells land to Coleman Mining Co. Oh, this was a long time ago. Okay, so there's some crates in this place. Uh, and... Oh, we need gas canners to- Oh, God. Oh, God, this chapter's gonna suck so bad. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's get into it. See, we actually can't continue and get into this yet because, you know, I gotta... The video's been running on for a little long, so I'm gonna cut this up into parts. Um, hopefully it'll only take two parts, but it might take three. And if so, I'll, uh, you'll see. So, thank you everyone for watching, um, and wait for the next part in this Slender The Arrival Hardcore series. Uh, and as always, I'm out. You're in.